Hey, what's up, my construction entrepreneurs? Tyrone Jones, back again. Here, showing you another tool within the construction entrepreneur um, school of services estimating system. Okay, this part here is the last part of the estimating system that shows all the totals of every sheet that you have input information on. Okay, you can see it here. So let's go through it. As you see here, it shows uh, in column C, column C, excuse me, shows the backyard, family room. All these sections here is what transferred over from the bid list section that we first entered in on this sheet here. And each one will populate here as you enter it in. These ones are blanks because we didn't enter in anything in them. But here we go to the backyard section here. We can see each row carries a description. We got the labor, the labor burden is divide, is separated from the labor, okay? We got the raw material section, we got the renter equipment, we got the equipment own section, truck and fuel, aggregate and sand products, subcontractors, and uh, per diem and hotel. We got another section that's not used in case we need to add something to this, okay? Now, if you see, see, if you see here, the backyard section in column C, we can see that we got 1436.72 for labor, and we got another 186.77 for burden. Now, if we continue to scroll down here, you see that that top row stays in put here, so we can actually know what we are looking at. And we can see here that that stays in put there, which is great. If you come across here, it'll give you the totals for each of those rows. With adding up each of the sheets that you have in there, okay? And here's a total here. Uh, also here above here, you also get to uh, add a, uh, if you want to add a discount percentage, you can add that, that can be calculated. And here in this section, here's where you will um, change your overhead percentage, which will compute throughout every sheet, okay? So it not only changes here, it changes throughout every sheet, so you don't have to worry about going through each sheet to change it, okay? Um, having a system like this would definitely prepare you for, um, as your company grows and gets larger, you know, you start doing larger million-dollar projects, $100,000 projects. I have actually done $100,000 projects on this, million-dollar projects on this system. I just have larger and larger systems. But uh, once you grow more, you know, you definitely want to get out of, uh, out of the Excel-type system and get into more of a database system that can hold more, uh, more estimates and you can be more versatile with sharing amongst, amongst your team. But definitely, um, you know, you're uh, starting out small type business, medium type business. This is something that can fit you very well. Once again, the price of this is $300, uh, comes ready to go. Um, uh, you can keep the pricing here that I actually have in my copy here, if you would like, or you can add your own pricing in there. And what I mean by adding your own pricing in there is that in your area, you know, uh, the cost of drywall may be different from my area, so you have to add in the cost of drywall in your area. The cost of windows may be different, right? You may have a special pricing from that manufacturer. You will enter that in, okay? Uh, your rental rates may be differently, okay? Your fuel may be differently, right? So you'll enter in those items and customize it to fit you and your business. Okay, so here, down here, uh, overhead, we'll leave at 12. But here, since this is not a Public Works Davis Bacon type project, uh, we want to zero this one out here, okay? So we'll go ahead and zero it out because that's what we want to do there. Oops, sorry about that. And we want to zero it out, okay? Once it's zeroed out, we get rid of that section there. Looks like our total bid, I went ahead and plugged in some additional numbers there so we can see a number that uh, you know can kind of look like something here. So I went and played with numbers with each of these sheets here. If you can actually see here, where we have uh, the final totals for each of these sheets here. 
and then we come across and we get a total of $18,727.68. Um, if we look here, we can see that our uh, overhead percentage for this one here is 18.24.03, and our profit percentage here is seven, seven, uh, uh, $1,700. So that's what we're looking at on that, okay? And we can change that and raise that up if we if we decide to, okay? We want to do 20%. That more so fits our fits our deal there. That jumps up to 3420,000 20,429 for our final price. Uh, that's all I have to show you here. I'll be posting more and more videos on this. Uh, really trying to help uh, uh, entrepreneurs, the construction entrepreneur community out and uh, really get this thing out. I'm ready to get it out. I've been building this system for over probably eight years. And what I have done with this, I have taken my knowledge from different systems, okay? Heavy bed, on center, just different ones that I have, I have dealt with. I've dealt with probably over nine of them. And I have put something together that makes it easy for us to understand and easy for us to get through that way and also know this that this would help you prepare for other systems remember every system is excel based so if you can kind of you know get the system get the feel of it then when you get ready to transition once your company get up to a certain level you transition to a new system you'll be able to navigate through that system with ease okay all right, my construction entrepreneurs, I'm going to let you go with that. Uh, hopefully you enjoy. Uh, if you did enjoy, you learned something, you have questions, post it down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe if you want to receive more content similar to this and other things that we share with being a construction entrepreneur in real time. So remember, hustle hard, then hustle harder. Thanks, my construction entrepreneurs. See you on the next one.